Hey guys, so for this video, I will be going over Pentel's Aqua Wash brushes, which are here. There are three sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, when they came, they did not have the caps gradiating, so I switched them so the lightest colored one is on the tiniest tip here, and so forth all the way up to the thicker one, which is there. So it's a synthetic brush, and there's a reservoir here for water and you just fill it up and the water will come through. You can either uh, push it with your fingers, it's very pliable, and just let it flow out as you're working. Very convenient and my new favorite toy. This is just a regular pencil. That's also a Pentel. This is a General's Sketch and Wash uh, graphite pencil. Uh, this is one of the main things we'll be talking about in this tutorial is that it's graphite, but it works just like watercolor pencils. This is just a pencil sharpener, and this is just my makeshift uh, <laughs> disposal bin for all my shavings. Um, this is just a paper plate that's been shaped into a box to hold all my junk. So, let's get started. So, for the general sketch and wash, it works just like a regular pencil. Nothing really different about it. It even draws like a regular pencil here, you can see. There's uh, the gradations you can do, just like I was doing in my other tutorials, where you can go dark to light. It's more just like a regular graphite pencil. Nothing strange about it. But when you take here and you start adding water to it, it turns into just like a watercolor pencil. And you get those really great gradations. Um, it's really one of my favorite pencils ever. Uh, I found it when I was in high school and I continue to buy it. Um, it's just really fun to work with. You know, you can do a lot with it. Um, I wouldn't suggest it with this brush, but another method to put it down onto the page is to literally take it directly from the pencil and you would load your brush up. You can see there how it's darker now. And then you could actually paint with it that way. But these pens, since there's water in the reservoir, I wouldn't suggest it. I would say just to get a regular brush and do it that way with a water well. But here, you know, I've gotten all of the um, sketch and wash out of the pencil there, so it's brushing clear. That's important to do to get rid of any other colors before you move on and do something else. So here I'll just go over again. I'm just doing a little doodle here. So that's just very, very sketchy. And then you can come in here and deepen those lines very quickly. So again, super quick, um, but that's also how I did the uh, picture of Benedict Cumberbatch. You can see here, he's done in a similar manner. I started out just with a regular uh, sketch with my pencil and then added in layers and layers of the graphite sketch and wash pencils. It's really nice because you can load them up and uh, keep making the layers heavier and heavier because as they dry, they'll kind of become a little lighter than you thought they would be. So keep that in mind is that you don't want to just do one layer of these pencils. It's really nice to build them up over time. And they also, what's interesting is that it's you can take your eraser and actually start erasing some of the darkness. So if you get too dark in one area or you mess up and it gets into an area, let it dry completely and then go in and fix that up. I did that a lot on this picture here. So here I just have a very quick sketch of a flower. No flower in particular either. It just uh, is to show how you can do regular graphite on top with these pencils as well. So here I'm just going to sharpen it up to a tip so that I can get more precise into where I want the colors and where I don't want them. So I'm just gonna go in and start working here a little bit. And I, I use them a lot like regular pencils, so where I would think to put the pencil marks is where I put this marks. So I'm just gonna add in some drop, drop shadows here to make it look a little more real. And you don't have to take the shading all the way out because that's what your a brush is going to do. So if you just start getting it down just even a little bit here, you can then move it around with the water and drag it out. 
like here. I didn't have to do sketch lines all the way around. I'm just bringing it outwards to give it some depth. You don't have to outline everything when you're using these pencils. But you can see already how much that brings forward this little sketch. And just start going into the middle and darkening that up. And as it gets wet, then I can start bringing it into the petals. So you don't have to draw into every petal to start getting that depth. You can bring it from other areas and thus you won't get too dark too quickly. It's a good thing to remember. It's to always take, take baby steps when you're using them, I find is the best way to go. And always remember to, of course, add time for drying. It's very important as well. And you can draw over places that are wet. Um, it's not the best technique, but it works. Again, I personally prefer to wait for it to dry and then just do another layer. It's not perfect, but you can kind of see how it's quickly come to life just with a few lines of our pencil and then using the fine tip of the Pentel uh, Aquash brush. So again, I highly recommend these brushes. Uh, the big one, of course, is really good for covering into backgrounds. The medium one, uh, less so. I, I find that I don't use the medium one quite as much. So if you're going to be buying individual pins, I would just go for the small one and a large one. And you can pretty much cover all your bases that way. As for the Sketch and Wash pencils, they usually come in a pack of two with a pencil sharpener. This isn't the one that came with it, but you get the idea. Uh, you can also buy them in packs of 10 through Amazon, which I would highly suggest doing. But if you just want to try them out, you can get them at Michael's pretty cheaply. I think it's like $2.99 usually when I used to buy them. Uh, this is just a regular pencil. It's the Pentel Carry, which I'll put a link to as well if you'd like to use it. It's my newest pencil and one of my favorites now. So if you have any questions and uh, would like more demonstrations or more explanations, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thanks!